Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 26th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. I got a little birdie outside my window. I'm not sure if you'll hear it or not, but I've been chirping for a while. So I believe that there's a message that is coming. Anyhow, so what do we have for a message today? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands reversed. Four of Cups reversed. So, this is a huge loss. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a huge loss. It is short-lived success. It's a financial disaster. Losing it all. Somebody is losing it all. They may be in massive debt. They may have been hiding money or trying to save money. But I feel like their stability, they're probably scraping for money. We have somebody here that is suffering financially. This could be the collapse of an empire. Okay? Um, this is a collapse as well. So we have something collapsing. It could be a, a family situation. It could be a home issue. It could be a family feud. There could be a fight, a family quarrel. Somebody is overwhelmed. They can't do it anymore. Okay, so this could be a physical collapse of some sort. Um, it may have something to do with a home. Okay, it could be a change in residence that is coming. Um, this Four of Pentacles, somebody's been staying in a situation for stability reasons, but it doesn't look like there's any love there. It doesn't look like there's emotional fulfillment. Okay. They've been trying to do too much. Somebody may have been spending too much or they may have lived outside of their means and now they're scraping. I feel like uh, there could definitely be a change of, in residence for, for somebody in particular. Somebody may be releasing something that they have been holding on to. Um, they can't do it anymore. This is extremely overwhelmed with the, with the Ten of Wands reversed. Um, just can't do it. You know, I have to let this go. It's killing me. Something is really bogging a person down, holding a person down. This is the dead weight that we've been talking about. This is freeing yourself. Somebody's going to be freeing themselves, making a conscious change. They have another opportunity. The Four of Cups is better in reverse. Okay, that is seizing a new opportunity right now. Okay, where there's, a, there's been a missed opportunity. Somebody has ignored an opportunity or they just didn't take something that was presented to them because they're in, uh, I don't know, a commitment perhaps, or so in some sort of situation where um, it appeared to be stable at the time. So they ignored something, but now they see they're going to be seizing a new opportunity, letting go and taking a new opportunity. This is this is this is a disaster. Okay, this is totally a disaster. Um, this is a false impression. Okay, there could even be bad business here. There, there could be illegal dealings here. Some, you know, something is happening where uh, it's falling apart. That we have, a, we have a. Uh, it's either an unstable business or an unstable home life, and things are falling apart. They're falling apart. Somebody has been trying to prove that they can make something work that really isn't emotionally fulfilling. And that can only last for so long. So there's going to, this is a collapse. It is definitely a collapse. Um, the window things are supposed to arrive like, I don't even know what it said, March 3rd. I think it said March 3rd. Anyhow, um, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Now, this is somebody that is in their feelings, going to be acting on feelings, listening to their gut, making a move, taking a new approach, um, looking for love. Somebody is looking for love. They're going to be following their heart. Um, they've been holding on to something that is unstable for financial reasons. Um, but now maybe they've lost it all or they've reached a point where they can't do it anymore. They want love because this is I, I want love. Somebody's looking for love. They're looking for emotional fulfillment after they've been, you know, putting out a false impression. All right. They have. Um, ooh. 
Ooh, so this is emotional. Somebody's in their emotions. They're really, really, really in their emotions. I could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That is now looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. I mean, when you get the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is deep sadness. It's heartbreak. It's disappointment. So we do have somebody here that is going to be in their feelings. There could even be some tears shed over, you know, some sort of family situation that is coming to an end. Um, or a business situation that is coming to an end. This could, it feels like something is collapsing. It's falling down. It's falling down. Something is falling down. Um, somebody is, is taking a new approach and it's, and it's definitely heartbreaking. Unfortunately, this is heartbreaking with the queen of cups reversed. Oh. Sorry, I still have gas problems. You might hear my stomach growling. Um, there's some disappointment here. There is definitely some emotional disappointment here over, I feel like, somebody's decision to make a change. Somebody has made a decision. They are deciding to go after something more emotionally fulfilling. We have somebody here that I believe has seen themselves as a victim. They have had a victim mentality. But now they're letting go. They're letting go of something. And it hurts. I feel like it hurts. I, I do feel like it hurts. Um, making a conscious change. Even It's bittersweet. That's exactly what it is. It's bittersweet. It's like a bittersweet departure. It could also be a bittersweet arrival, you know. Um, this is the end. Somebody may have married somebody for money, but we have those two tens. This is a completion of some sort. This is the end of something. It is the end of a, of a relationship, but I think, you know, whether it's with a business or it's with a, a partner. I think it is the end of a relationship. Somebody has decided that their heart wants something more. You know, they've been discontent, they've been emotionally unfulfilled, and they've been ignoring an opportunity for love, and now it feels like they've just decided, you know, and I feel like they've been waiting for the moment to do so. Ooh, Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is direct communication. It looks like we have somebody here that may be delivering a message, it's probably not an easy message. It's not good news. It's not, a, it's a message. They're delivering a message to somebody that, you know, it's a hard message. It's a difficult message. And it has to do with emotional fulfillment. It does. Somebody's going to be receiving a message that they don't want to hear. Okay? That's the truth. And it's going to be a very truthful, factual message. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. This is the truth. You know, it may be hearing, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not in love with you. And I'm sorry to keep, deliver that message. I am sorry to deliver that message. But there is an opportunity for love here, okay, with this card and this card that has been ignored because somebody was trying to, you know, make something work under false pretenses. You know, somebody was tried. They tried, but they've reached the point where they can't do it anymore. So this is letting go. It's dropping it. it and it hurts. It is hurt. So I do believe that somebody has another opportunity for love and they're delivering the message that I'm sorry, you know, I have to let you go, you know. Um, Page of Swords is a message is coming, but it may not be what you want to hear, okay? So, and it doesn't have to be about love. It could be about a family situation. It could be because the Ten of Pentacles could be a family feud. It could be a family fight or have to do with a family member. Okay? So there could be, there could be a family member that is um, causing some sort of burden, you know? And, and maybe they're just... Uh, Well, they can't master their emotions. Somebody can't master their emotions. And they're going to be acting on their feelings. They may do something defensive. So this is, that's another story. Okay, that's somebody else's story. We have somebody here that is unstable. 
They may have lost it all, and they're going to be acting. They can't master their emotions. They could do something um, that they regret. I'm just being honest with that page of swords. This is somebody that may even act impulsive, may say something or do something, you know, that they regret. Just saying. Anyway, because page of, the page of swords is somebody that... Um, usually does something, sometimes without thinking. This, somebody, this is somebody that may move too fast, may push too hard, get some bright idea and just does it. So somebody may do something without thinking. Um, they may take an opportunity because they're in their feelings. Anyway, uh, so I don't know who that is for. Um, but there's, I, there could be, a, there's an emotional loss here, put it that way. There is an emotional loss. And it's a big loss. It is a big loss. Anyhow. We have somebody here that is agitated. They are agitated right now. And they may say things publicly. This person may say things on their emotions. You know, they may speak out their ass. No offense or anything. And, it, you know, it feels like, you know, it could cause problems. It could, it could cause problems for this person. Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in effort. It's hard work. Putting in work. Putting in effort. Working really, really hard. Somebody is trying to, to make something. They may be making something. They're trying to create or they are creating something. This is somebody that has some sort of skills. It feels like they're creating something or they're making something right now. Hmm. What are they doing? Something very repetitive. Somebody is doing something very repetitive. It's something that they do over and over and over again. Eight of Wands. So this is bad news. <laughs> it is bad news. It's not good news. I don't think it is. I know. Oh, Ten of Cups reversed. This is the end of a relationship of some sort. We got somebody here who's not happy. I know they're not happy. This is relationship problems. It's children leaving. It's a dying dream. Somebody is in their emotions over a huge loss. They've lost it all. And I feel like they are agitated. And I feel like they are not going in the right direction. I feel like they, they could act. They could act on their feelings. They may have been planning something. They may have been... Uh, well, there's been some sort of delay in them receiving work or something. Or they, there's been some sort of... There's no movement. There's no changes that are happening. This is the eight, eight of reverse. The eight are about changes reverse. Somebody hasn't had any change. Nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. This person is discontent. So I feel like they're going to put in effort to... Uh, well, that Four of Cups reverse is taking a new opportunity. They're putting in effort to do something based on their emotions. I don't think it's good, whatever it is that they're doing. Okay, I don't. I feel like they're acting on their emotions. They can't master their emotions. They're overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed and they're going to be acting on their feelings because they have lost it all. And I feel like, you know, I don't feel like this is good news. Anyhow, um... Let's get another card. Eight of Wands. What is this Eight of Wands reverse? This is this is jealousy. Somebody's jealous. They've blocked something. They've blocked. They've been blocked or they've blocked. There's some sort of blockage here. Blockage of things working out. Something things aren't working out because somebody isn't moving in the right direction. They're not, they're not uh taking a new opportunity. It's like there's a new opportunity here, but they haven't taken the new opportunity. Somebody may have been applying for a job and they're not getting it. No offense or anything. Um, you know, it feels like somebody's going to get a message that they don't want to hear. And it's because they're not stable. You know, they don't have the skills. But then again, I feel like there is skills here because of the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody that is very skilled in this card. This person does something over and over and over again. But that, that could just be 
somebody's mindset. So, so we may have somebody that does something over and over. They haven't learned. You know, they just repeat the same things over and over and over again. And that's why they're not moving forward. They're not having success in their life because they don't they don't try new things. This is this, this is very like redundant energy. So anyway, we have somebody that has been emotionally discontent. They haven't been getting what they want. They may have been be beat. They may have been ignored or blocked, you know, from a partner or from other people. It feels like there's more people here. They may have been ignored and blocked, and it's because they're, they're combative. I feel like we do have somebody here that's very stubborn as well. Extreme. This is a card of stubbornness. So I do think we have somebody here that is stubborn, and uh, they have a hard time communicating. They have a hard time being honest and upfront as well. But anyhow... I do see some sort of lack of happiness on this day. Somebody's going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Um, it's probably going to be an emotional message. Somebody may be deciding to stop investing in something that they have been investing in, and they may be deciding to work someplace else, to put in effort someplace else. Now, that's another message as well, because this is like... Uh, putting in effort to stop going in the wrong direction and seizing a new opportunity. So somebody is definitely curious. They're curious about a new opportunity and they're going to be taking that opportunity. I do believe they are. They are going to take a new opportunity, whatever this opportunity is. What is this opportunity? What is this opportunity that they are taking? Maybe it's just, it could be an opportunity to communicate. It could be an opportunity to communicate and put an effort after there has not been any communication. Somebody could be receiving a message from somebody that puts them in their emotions, okay? That makes them, you know, very, very emotional. This is person may be deciding to put in effort. They have blocked you in the past or they haven't communicated in the past or they ignored you in the past or now this person could be communicating and maybe they're communicating because they've lost it all, you know, or they've been in a bad relationship and they've, you know, now they want stability because the four of pentacles is all about stability. Maybe now they've learned their lesson. They want stability. Anyway, we do have somebody that is looking for love with that Knight of Cups, and they are overwhelmed. They have been overwhelmed. They may have dropped something. You know, they may have dropped something, a relationship or whatever it is that was holding them back, that was holding them down. Um, they may have been in a loveless situation where there wasn't reciprocation. You know, and that's why they ignored you. I don't know, but I do believe there is some sort of communication coming with that Page of Swords that may make you catch you off guard okay it may catch you off guard somebody may be deciding to just put in effort after they have stalled and delayed and blocked in the past um now they're taking an opportunity so i do believe somebody's going to receive a message somebody's going to receive a message from somebody um and this message, whatever this message is, it, this is somebody that wants to things to work out. This is somebody that wants to put in effort, that will put in effort. And it feels like, uh, you know, this is a blockage of some sort. What is this Eight of Wands reversed? Feeling guilty. Somebody may be feeling guilty. They may be feeling guilty for how they treated another person. Now they want to put in effort. Ah, King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is somebody who takes action. This is somebody that is noble, that uh, has courage. So we do have somebody that is going to be replacing their fear, finding their strength and their courage. And I feel like they're they're, they're going to be they're going they got this new vision, they got this new drive, they got this new desire. They have a strong desire. We got somebody here that has a strong desire. They're going to be taking control. This person is in a position of authority and they are going to take charge. So we do have some, a very strong-minded individual here that is going to be taking action after they have been stuck or something like that with the Eight of Wands. They've, been not they've not had any movement in their life. 
Now they see a passionate opportunity. They see an opportunity and they want it. And I say that again right here with the Four of Cups reverse. There was an opportunity that, you know, maybe wasn't wanted at one time. But now this person is very curious. And this could be somebody brand new. Somebody's going to be communicating with somebody that um, really has a desire to put in effort. And I feel like... Uh, There's some sort of conflict around it. There's some sort of uh, unsurety. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's really going to make somebody feel emotion, emotional. It's like, I'm not sure. So anyway, there is, there is a lover here. Ooh, the Ace of Cups on the bottom. I just looked. I said it after there's a lover. I was looking at the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a new start in love. So there is a new start in love here. Somebody is, 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 has a new beginning in love. Somebody is going to, either they're going to start a new relationship or they're going to see an opportunity that could, that could lead to uh, love. We could, you know, this is a new beginning. Somebody's going to be making an advance. Probably towards an individual that is very sensitive. And I feel like this person is very sensitive because they've been ignored in the past. That's being ignored. Maybe they've been blocked. Maybe they got themselves into a relationship that didn't work out. And their dreams were dashed. Ace Cups about dreams as well. Anyway. We do have, this is heaven sent as well. The Ace of Cups is heaven, is heaven sent. So anyway, somebody is going to be receiving an opportunity. There's an opportunity coming in, put it that way. That can lead to a lot of happiness. This is, this is a flood of emotion. Somebody's really going to be in their feelings. This is very emotional. This could also be an emotional release. I just got to be honest with you. It definitely could be an emotional release. So this could go multiple different ways. We have somebody that has decided to stop. They have decided to stop something. Because this is stopping. This is a decision that has been made. This person is deciding. They have decided to stop something. And put in effort into something new. This person's going down a new path. They have no fear. They're leaving fear behind. This could be going no contact with somebody. This could be stopping contact. This could be the end of end of contact. This is this could be for somebody. Somebody is going no contact. It's like done. The decision is made. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in effort into something new. So anyway, I do I do believe that we have a, an emotional release. A decision is being made. Uh, it's a heartfelt decision. Somebody has been hanging on to something for financial reasons. It's over. I'm looking for love. And they see an opportunity. And I feel like they're running with it. Good luck.